Dante Hampton will immediately open the floor with questions. So please raise your hand and we'll get your microphone. We'll start here first. In front row, guys. Uh, Jacques Taylor undefeated. Shador, what was the biggest problem uh, their defense presented today? Um, I would say me just not seeing it. Me just not um, making the right reads and just getting the ball in my hands. Wilson Jackson, Sports Illustrated. Keontae, this is a question for you. You've been around the program for quite some time. What does a game like this, you know, your career is coming to an end, but what does a game like this mean to you the way that it ended? Uh, expect, uh, I really didn't want to end out this way, but, you know, we made it here this far. You know, tips off to uh, South Carolina State. You know, they outplayed us. They made more plays. You know, that's it. To the right. Hey, Shador, it's James Hill with BNC Sports. Uh, can you tell us what HBCU football means to you personally, what Jackson State means, and, and just talk a little bit about the Celebration Bowl? I feel like the Celebration Bowl was a great experience. I feel like throughout the week we had um, good activities. Um, the fact that we had barbers just on call, just sitting there all day, food was pretty good. But it's just a real exciting moment knowing all of our people come to this one stadium right here and pack it out. Uh, the atmosphere was crazy. And it's just how um, HBC football, every game should be. All right, to the right. Kari Thompson, the Clarion Ledger. Uh, Shador and Keontae, can you guys both uh, elaborate on what Coach Prime just said? He said HBCUs are now, not the past. Do you guys agree with that? What do you mean by that? Like basically, HBCUs are the future. They've been overlooked in the past. Do you th do you guys think that you guys are building something that will help other recruits like yourselves look at HBCUs a little harder? Definitely, I feel like that. You see, um, the player we just signed. So uh, next signing day, you'll be able to see it'll be more players just like us coming to this HBCU in the Jackson State. We just getting started. Go prime change of the coach, man. Y'all just stay tuned and be ready for it. In the back. Dr. Cavill's inside the HBC Sports Lab, Kenyatta Cavill. This question is for Shador. Um, many people talk about your maturity and how level you are. Can you talk about your mental process of how you plan to move forward to continue to build on your skills uh, as a quarterback? I uh, really just go back over the film and just watch um, throughout the whole season what I was not very successful on, and just like work on that, strive for that. I mean, Tom Brady lost the Super Bowl before, so I mean, it's just it's just something in the way right now, and this just really helps us go back, lock in, and just reevaluate everything we did this season. Thank you. Time for two more in the back. AD Drew, Black College Sports Network. Uh, this is for you, uh, Mr. Hampton. Um, I need you to talk to some of the uh, high school players who did not have an opportunity to sign and tell them what it is about that HBCU culture that need, that they need to look at HBCUs instead of or uh, in addition to some of the other schools. Uh, I say uh, HBCU is family, you know, they all care about you, alumni, teachers, everybody. It's a family we all want. So that was a big thing, you know, before uh, I signed Jack State, everybody was telling me go Juco route, don't go to HBCU, it won't help you and stuff like that. But I prayed about it and I chose Jack State. So I'm just thankful to be here and I'm glad you're here. One more. This is Gary Jones from VMH Magazine. Uh, this question directed to Mr. Sanders. Do you believe in the concept sometimes a loss is the best thing that could have happened to prepare you for the future? Uh, was this the game that you can say that not necessarily. I mean, I feel like it happens. It's life. You're not always just going to be successful uh, all day, every day. So sometimes that just happens. But they just had a really good game plan, and they and they just stopped us offensively, and that just can't happen. Thanks, guys.